All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm in the house with this pretty cool Shirogorov Knives uh, F3 uh, with my Carter skills. We're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this bad boy, but hey, don't forget to like this video. And maybe, you know, if you want, you can also subscribe to the channel if you're uh, feeling to. Um, so let's check the size of this uh, boy over here. 8.75 inches overall in length uh, with uh, like a correspondent uh, uh, 22 centimeters if you are in the metric system across the pond and for a little bit less than four inch long like 3.875 3.9 inches in length which are roughly 9.8 centimeters or let's say 10 centimeters just a little bit under that or five inches blade which are actually corresponding to another 12.5 uh, centimeters really this is a full size knife and uh, you can actually check it up against Ontario rat number one and Ontario rat, rat number two right over here so you can see how this guy is doing up against these two and uh, Maybe you've got a bench mid uh, uh, lying around your house and that's gonna be the bag out. Um, there is a smaller version of the bench mid and it's the mini bag out, which is this little fella right over here. And the same thing is gonna happen with Spider Co. And that's the Paga 3 right over there. And of course, you guessed it, yeah, the Paga Military 2 is coming up. And you know, the Paga Military 2 is the big boy. But uh, yeah, F3 is, the, is bigger for sure. Uh, going up in price, uh, you might encounter some Chris Reeve knives on uh, the path to collecting knives and that's gonna be your small Sebenza 21. And uh, guess what? Yeah, uh, that's the large Sebenza 21. Look at this, Damascus is just incredible. So it's still a little bit uh, uh, smaller uh, than the uh, F3, but let me show you just another couple of guys uh, that I've got. Uh, Snafu by uh, Custom Knife Factory. Peter Asenti design, really, really cool. And let me show you just another uh, tiny Chris Reeve. That's the Nandi and it's a beautiful one. And uh, what else can I show you guys here? Just another couple. I've got, um, I've got this guy actually. Uh, just got in and uh, it's a uh, chamoire by Gareth Ball and it's a beautiful knife and uh, something along the lines of the size I mean a little bit bigger you've got the Shirogorov uh, Kami flipper and uh, to further check Shirogorov you can see actually the uh, Neon and L this is a custom division and um, to have just a comparison with one of the best Shirogorov in town you've got the F3 but this is custom division so it's pretty different uh, uh, than this guy right over here so uh, let's check this guy out because it's, um, it's a pretty cool knife guys um, F3 Shirogorov knives uh, it's a liner lock with micarta scales that's a nice green micarta it's very very grippy but soft it feels like you're rubbing like some cotton kind of thing it's it's very warm it's beautiful um, you've got uh, some 3d milled scales these are not just flat a uh, nice chamfer going on all around this is uh, this is a knife made in Russia guys it's, the, it's I would say the entry level for the F3 it's gonna cost around $700 and uh, Sergei Shirogorov is uh, uh, just doing a fantastic knife, uh, set of knives. Uh, there's a wide ar array of uh, models and this is a liner lock. Another liner lock is going to be the 111 uh, and some other are going to be um, frame lock like F95, Hattie, Quantum and so on. So um, really, really cool uh, liner lock here. It just, uh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Um, you've got uh, titanium liners going on, which are not skeletonized. Um, in fact, if you want the um, the upgrade to this guy, you, um, you're you looking for the F3NS, which is uh, um, including skeletonized uh, titanium liners. Uh, it's gonna have upgraded steel, so M390, and it's gonna run on multi-row bearings. And this guy is running on single row, and it's Sporting an Elmax steel. Um, you've got a very, very cool finish. 
in these scales super grippy it's very uh, it's very good to the look and to the touch as well of course you've got the classic finger groove going on over here which is gonna feel absolutely amazing in the hand um, you have uh, some nice uh, uh, g10 or a g10 geared up backspacer with lanyard um, hole integrated right over here uh, you might want to uh, disassemble the knife Mm, to 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 do that because yeah you know it's a little bit tight uh, but yeah you you can you have that option of course blade is absolutely centered and well protected by the backspacer so you're not going to be able to touch uh, anything and the look I mean when you close the, the the look closed is just gorgeous it's classic shiro lines which I really really love and uh, it's just a classic no no nonsense going on it's just uh, pure functional art, uh, t t you know, in my opinion. Uh, you've got um, a very simple construction as well, just a pivot uh, screw and a handle screw right here, which is go are gonna require like a, like a penny or something, like a, like a coin made of softer metal, if you don't have access to a tool because they um, come like in uh, Shirogoro tool are around like $300 uh, uh, retail price. So it's, uh, you know, something to consider uh, if you don't want to risk to mar these uh, screws, but uh, you can actually do it with a flathead screwdriver, like some duct tape around that. You have to be careful. So, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's going to be up to you, but just be careful when you take this guy down. Uh, you can also, check my disassembly video if you are uh, curious on to see what's inside of this knife and how to take it apart how to clean it so check that out just be careful it's nothing too crazy you've got uh, uh, the hardware which is not protruding this pivot is spinning uh, it's not captive like in the custom division series so just keep that in mind maybe you want to use some uh, um, duct tape uh, right here on the back to hold it uh, and then just unscrew it from this side um, you've got uh, uh, um, some stainless steel lock face insert right over here, uh, which is going to eliminate the uh, lock stick from uh, the contact of the titanium with the steel. So you're going to be pretty much good to go. There is no uh, detent ball ramp. I think only the quantum features that. So in this case, you're going to feel this little step uh, uh, right there. Um, then you've got a, a tip up carry only pocket clip with showing hardware. Uh, very, very nicely done. 3D mill titanium, some beautiful uh, chamfering going on nice milling lines it's a, it's a classic like uh, and by hidden hardware I mean something like that so basically it's the same thing similar but with the hidden screw um, it's not reversible it's tip up carry only it's just gonna stay right over here and then you've got this pretty cool blade guys this is a classic Shirogorov uh, drop point blade in this case you don't have any jimping there's just a little bit of chamfering to uh, eliminate any sharpness on the edges right over here and then you have a beautiful stone wash finely stone washed uh, finish and I would say maybe like 35% maybe 40% belly and straight edge up to the sharpening choil right over here it's not really a finger choil but you have a full flat grind in this blade going up to here look at this plunge grind is just fantastic you get some nice chamfering going on around the flipper tab really really good all these blades are hand ground uh, which is fantastic and they do like a just a phenomenal job in doing that um, you have a classic uh, Shirogorov logo right over here not so much billboarding going on and Elmax steel which is going to remind you that this is let's say an entry level in the Shirogorov lineup but together with this uh, 30V you know that they used in the past um, to differentiate from the higher end three bears um, series that's going to employ as of today M390 steel also you've got the classic Shiro sound deployment is gorgeous guys like it's a beautiful clack it's resounding echoing as a unique unique feature to it when you close it it's like just super soft oh it's it's gorgeous guys I could do this uh, all day long uh, I don't want to annoy my wife she's in another room but uh, it's that good the sound is just is just that good you know that you have something quality in your hands it's just beautiful
very percussive, very, very clacky and clinky when you close it, just fantastic. Uh, this guy has no uh, skeletonization, so that's gonna reflect a little bit on the weight on this guy because uh, it's gonna be around five ounces, let's see. Uh, this is gonna be 4.91 ounces, so a little bit under five, so it's uh, it's still okay in my books. and. It really has zero hot spots in the hand. Like it feels just gorgeous. There's it just meant to, to, to stay in my hand. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments what do you feel. Um, but I feel that there's it's just like a, the perfect grip uh, finger guard created by the flipper tab when open, which follows the contouring. It's just great. There, there's no sharp edges. The clip is uh, fantastically done. Uh, you've got uh, the perfect uh, uh, lock bar release uh, uh, area here because this is a nice chamfer going on over here and some milling here so you don't even need any uh, jimping going on because it's you see it's protruding it's sticking out you have this uh, area which is just easy to disengage and do like that so very very good so um, also, the flipper tab is very well made. I love it. Uh, nice jimping, nice chamfering. It's in the right position, so you can do a push button, you can do a light switch, and it's gonna have this landing area for your uh, index finger, so it's not gonna be, uh, there's not gonna be any finger soreness if you keep doing push button. It's just gonna feel amazing, really, really cool. Um, you can also do like some uh, uh, reverse grip like that, and it's gonna feel gorgeous, guys. Like, it's that good. The handle is sticking out, so I have like a, a little bit more area here for my thumb to just grip it uh, furthermore, and uh, it's just great. I mean, you can do maybe a little bit more uh, advanced grip. I wouldn't suggest to do like uh, you know to choke it up like here because that's not really a finger choil, but it's just uh, it's gonna feel great in the hand. It's well balanced. Of course, it's absolutely solid. Look at the size of these. Uh, um, uh, the thickness of these uh, uh, liners and actually let's just quickly check the uh, stock thickness uh, uh, let's do uh, it uh, in uh, um, inches so that's gonna be uh, let's just do the zero here right and it's gonna be uh, 0.148 inches and behind the edge this guy is gonna be pretty thin look at that uh, 0 0.014 so it's a fantastic slicer, full flat grind. Uh, you have uh, an absolutely fantastic fit and finish going on, zero gaps. Uh, of course, nothing is rattling. It's uh, th there's some nice texture which pretty much eliminates any slippery uh, <laughs> occasion happening to you from uh, handling this guy because it's grippy. It's gonna stay in your hand. Um, there's no, everything is flush, no misalignments. Uh, the scales are just perfectly matching the contour of the liners and uh, uh, also, like the clip is, is pretty good. It's not that stiff. It's gonna work like a charm. You see the point of contact is there and it's gonna be in and out of your pocket. This much is gonna be sticking out uh, when in the pocket and it's just fantastic. Of course, there's zero blade play, no finger soreness, no lock stick, nothing. Thin. It's just that good. Um, also, of course, this guy is running on single row bearing system because it's the uh, entry level, so not multi row bearing, but the deployment is that fast and the closing action is this smooth, like that fast and this smooth. It's so good. It's really, really an hydraulic gliding closing shot action, which I really love. I prefer much more this one than a, just a free falling guillotine effect. I like that this gentle gliding is just a pleasure. You, you need to try it in your hand to see uh, if you like it and if it's something for you. I think it's, yeah, definitely for me. And um, and guys, this is a pretty cool looking knife. My carta adds some um, warmth to the touch and some grippiness to the handle, which is fantastic. Great sound, great feel. I mean, this is a fantastic knife, guys. And uh, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.